Welcome to Al Kibulan. Today's message is from St. Luke chapter 21, 5 to 19. And the theme or title or topic is Jesus tells about the future. Jesus tells about the future. This is a time when we are called to celebrate in the reign of the Savior of the world. Emmanuel, the Christ, wants us to be prepared, be alert, be aware, be watchful, be on our guard in order that we might be able to withstand the plans of the devil. The second coming of Christ is near and he will judge the world. In the passage, according to St. Luke chapter 21, 5 to 19, Jesus spoke about three things that we should bear in mind in relation to our time the destruction of the temple, signs and persecutions, and the need for us to endure in faith. Firstly, as we reflect on Jesus tells about the future, we look at the destruction of the temple that Solomon had built several years before Jesus's time. Verse 5 following state, When some were speaking about the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, he said, As for these things that you see, the day will come when not one stone will be left upon another. All will be thrown down it is said my brothers and sisters that the temple was destroyed in a.d 70 when the roman army burned jerusalem yes the soldiers the roman soldiers those in italy those in rome burned the temple of Almighty God. These are the same kind of people who continue today to fight against the people of the Most High. They want us to stop our worship. They want us to keep silent. They want us to live in poverty. They want us to forget who we are and the rich land that our creator has given unto us. This satanic system is a system that has come to kill, steal, and destroy. But we serve a king who has come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Secondly, as we think about the theme Jesus tells about the future, we see signs and persecutions that Jesus spoke about. According to the passage, they asked him, teacher, when will this be and what will be the sign that this is about to take place and he said beware that you are not led astray for many will come in my name and say i am he and the time is near do not go after them when you hear of wars and insurrections 
do not be terrified for these things must take place but the end will not follow immediately then he said to them nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom there will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and plagues and there will be dreadful portents and great signs from the heaven but before all this occurs they will arrest you and persecute you they will hand you over to synagogues and prisons and you will be brought before kings and governors because of my name this will give you an opportunity to testify so make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance for i will give you words and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict you will be betrayed even by parents and brothers by relatives and friends and they will put some of you to death you will be hated by all because of my name but not a hair of your head will perish that is what our messiah the anointed one the king of kings and lord of lords said to us you will be hated by all because of my name but not one hair of your head will perish Emmanuel and his hosts of angels are fighting on our behalf. The battle is not ours. It belongs to Almighty God. Christ has already defeated the enemy and he will give us final victory over the sufferings that that demon Satan is causing to his world today and so thirdly and finally i say to us as we reflect on how jesus spoke about the future we are called to endure in faith persevere in faith be constant in our faith verse 19 of saint luke chapter 5 says by your endurance you will gain your soul by your endurance you will gain your soul saint luke chapter 21 sorry saint luke chapter 21 verse 19 by your endurance you will gain your souls so keep pressing on do not give up for the Emmanuel, our God, our Christ is with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us and he will be with us even to the very end. Trust him when you cannot even trace him. He will keep our minds in good order this is what the devil wants to program our minds so that the devil can do what the devil wants with us and to keep us in subjection and not to know who we are when we put our faith and trust in almighty god we will be able to have peace when there is war health when the pandemic is raging strength when everyone else is weak 
So I say to us, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We must be prepared to go through similar struggles like the disciples of Christ, bearing in mind that like them, Christ promises us that he will be with us to the very end. He will give us words and wisdom and that if we endure, then we will not lose our soul. But we will gain it. We are living in a world where many of us find ourselves at a loss. Because so many things that cause confusion are happening all around us. In order for us to endure through these troubled times, we must base our faith in Christ. Because we believe in the promise of God that if we endure in faith, then even though we may lose our lives, we will not lose our souls. Indeed, we are living in times that so many people's hearts are far from God. Many of them do not believe in the Most High. Nevertheless, Christ continues to reign in our world today. And those who have accepted what he has done for us are witnesses to his wonder working power. Therefore, as we reflect on the theme, Jesus tells about the future. May we understand that the time is now. We are seeing the devil, we are seeing that the devil is trying to destroy the people who are created in the image and likeness of our creator. We are seeing the signs of the time and we are called to stand tall, stand firm, stand strong for Emmanuel, our God is with us. Amen.